Hi, this is Laura from St. John the Baptist Parish Library, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a graduation announcement card in Canva. To start off, go ahead and log in and open Canva. From the homepage, you're going to go ahead and go to the search bar at the top and you're going to type in graduation announcement. As you can see, there's over 2,000 templates that Canva has already created or users on Canva have already created um, for you to go ahead and use. You can scroll through and find the one that you like best. I am going to be making one for West St. John High School because that is the high school closest to the library branch that I work at. Um, but you can do whatever high school your graduate is graduating from. Let's go ahead and find one. I think that I'm going to use this one. So you'll just click on the one that you want. This one's a pro one, so it's not available if you have the free plan on Canva, but if you have the pro plan, you can use this one um, and there are plenty of free templates for you to use. So you're just gonna go ahead and click customize this template and it'll open up for you. I'm going to go ahead and rename it so that it says West St. John graduation announcement. And from here, you're really just going to be editing colors. You can add different elements that you want to add. You can add your address if you're going to have a graduation party for your graduate. Um, I'm going to edit the colors so that they're West St. John colors, but first I'm going to upload the files that I need to upload. So I have prepared a filler image from pexels.com, which is a site that sources free images for you to use. Um, I'm only using it because I don't have a photo of an actual graduate to use, so I'm going to use like a model. Um, and then I also have the West St. John logo. So because I have the West St. John logo, I'm going to go ahead and put that in. I'm going to get rid of this diploma that they have on there. And instead, I'm going to make the West St. John logo smaller. And drag it down here. And Canva has this really cool... Um, feature where you can remove the background from any image. I think that's also a pro feature. So if you have um, an image that you want to have in here that has a background that you don't want, you can either match your background to the background of that image, or you can um, make sure that it's transparent uh, before you plug it into Canva. But I'm going to use the background remover. As you can see, it got rid of the background for me. It also got rid of the color in the face. So I'm going to see if there's anything that I can do about that. So what I'm going to do to work around this is I'm going to make the background of the image white like that. I'm going to go ahead and make all of my text black real quick. It's not going to stay that way, or it might not stay that way, but just for now. I'm going to take that out as well. Um, so, as you can see, um, this has kind of fixed the issue with the school logo, um, but now it just all feels very plain. I'm going to go ahead and drag in this image that I have, this image that I have um, prepared for.
put it where I want it. Um, and since now I have the logo of West St. John in here, what I can do is I can click on it and I can go to color. And it already has the color down here in photo colors, which is great. Um, so I'm going to click on this little ripped paper effect on the side here. And instead of keeping it gray, I'm going to go to the photo colors and I'm going to make it blue. I'm actually going to do the same with this brown square over here. Or I might actually make it a darker blue. And now I'm going to go in and I'm going to make my text white. This is supposed to be a color too, so I'm going to go in and I'm also going to make that blue. I'm going to make that the darker blue. And then I'm going to change this text color to white. I think I'm going to make this the darker blue. And then I'll make this or the lighter blue and I'm going to make this the darker blue. So you can stop here and, you know, fill in the information as you need it. So obviously it would be class of 2025 instead of 2024 and you would put your graduate your graduate's name here but I'm going to take it a little further and just make it a little more specialized. So I'm going to change the fonts. You go to the font right here and you can just go through to what you want it to be. There's a lot of different options. To choose from. And because it's a graduation um, announcement, I kind of want to make it more fancy. I kind of want to make it um, like a script. You can go into your text and you can do effects as I've shown you before. You can put a shadow. Oh, I like that. Um, you can put a shadow, you can make the text hollow, you can splice it. I like that too. Um, you can do an outline. You can make it neon, glitch, Echo. I really liked the shadow though, so I think I'm going to keep that. And you can do the same to this text. So let's see. I liked the font that I used. What was that font called? Campground. So now I'm just going to type in campground. And you can do the same with the effect. You can put a shadow behind this one as well. Another thing you can do is you can go in graphics. And let's say she played volleyball. So you can type in volleyball. If your graduate plays volleyball, you can add some volleyball graphics into your graduation announcement. Um, so you can put this one and you can change the color of these. Again, let's say she was also um, inquire. You can pick a music note and put that in there as well. I'm going to try and make it around the same size as the volleyball and I'll put it, I'll switch the sides. Volleyball will go over here. 
and the music node will go over here. And I'll change the color of that one as well. So now it's just giving it more personality. You can change the background color. Obviously, I couldn't on mine. Um, but you can change the background color. You can customize these really to your heart's content. You can do whatever you want with them, um, but I am happy with that. Um, so from there, if you decide that you're happy with your design, you can go to share and download it, and then you'll have the file on your computer. But Canva also has a option where you can print with them. You want to make it an invitation. Well, now it will show you what your graduation announcement will look like when it's printed out. And it will do some pricing for you. You can pick the type of paper you want. You can pick the finish that you want. You can pick how many you want. And let's say you want to send out 100. If you get the premium paper with the matte finish and square corners, it'll be $87 with free, del free del I think free delivery is for the pro, but it'll be $87 um, with envelopes to get your invitations. And if you don't want um, envelopes, it would be cheaper. But Canva does have this option for you if you want to print through them, or you could download the image and print through whatever service you want to print through. But that's pretty much it. There are a lot of different graduation announcement templates available on Canva. Obviously you can do something more detailed like this. You can do something more simple. You can do something with more images if you have more images that you wanna include. Um, but it's really what you want it to be and Canva has a lot of good places for you to start. So enjoy making your graduation announcements for your graduates. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Thanks for watching.